illustration and design class. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, uh, go do some activities for learning plan three. Uh, we're going to do a tutorial on um, making a clownfish, which is found number six of our activities for learning plan three. So what I'm going to do is click on the clownfish here. To open this, I'm going to open in a new link in a new tab. Come over here to this as it opens. Um, I could adjust this link. Okay, come on today, anytime today. I know it's going to open. Should open. Here we go. So this is how it opens. And probably could what we want to do once it opens. We can't see anything here. What we want to do is click on this read complete article. Um, I'll try to update this link, but if I don't get to it, then do this read complete article. Click that. And here's our uh, tutorial that we're going to work on. So design underwater clownfish tutorial and illustrator. Um, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to come back over here to Illustrator. Um, I started up a document. My document's going to be 800 by 600. Um, I'm going to make it 150 uh, PPI RGB mode, reading in pixels. So I'll say OK here. So I'm 800 by 600 screen. If I scroll over here. Um, open up Illustrator, set up a new document, any size you like. I use a standard 800 by 600, uh, layer one, um, name fish. So I'm come over to our layers uh, window here and click layers. And layer one, if I double click there, I can type it in. So I'm going to call that my fish. In there. And this is what we're going to make. So this is uh, um, downloaded from the website down at the bottom of this tutorial you can see here you can download source file this is what we're going to make this uh, clownfish with the sea anemones and a little background and so there we that's it so how do we get started so we come up here um, we're going to do the fish body and we're going to use a pen tool and we're going to outline the shape of the fish so that the bottom fin come around Draw in the, the lower part of the fish. And you don't have to be perfect. I mean, your fish can look different. Mine's going to look a little different. Um, so we just want to do it the best we can. But I'll show you some things working with the pen tool. So we got our pen tool here. Select our pen tool. And I'll start um, here, um, which is going to be about this part of the fish. That's where I'm going to start. As I start, I do a little turn, and it brings out those handles. So I'll bring out that handle. I don't see anything yet. And as I come around, I'm going to come around to the top of the fish. To me, it's better to have less points than more points. Um, just getting this. I'm drawing with a mouse. Um, you can draw um, with here. Draw down to the belly of the fish. And you can always add or subtract points as you go. Um, so I'll go here. And, you know, I'm not too worried right now. And what I'm going to do at this point here, I'm not going to curve it as I pulled it. Say I made a mistake and I, did, I forgot to curve it. And this one here, I forgot to curve. And then I'll, I'll curve that one. And as I come to finish up, I get that um, little circle there down at the lower right of the pen. So I've got a little circle there. And I click there. And now I've closed off my shape. So now I want to switch um, to my direct selection tool to kind of arrange these points. So if you're not tracing anything, you draw freehand, you don't have to get too worried about it. You can always change things. So if I select here with my direct selection tool, the A tool, I could take this and I can move it up a little bit. And again, I like to work with less points than more. Um, this is a little thinner in here, so I could take this and bring this in, bring that in a little bit, and then I could bring this in a little bit here, kind of go here. Now, these two, I didn't put the curves on it. So there's two ways to do it. Um, in the previous one, we used this tool. I could do that for one of them. I could take that and select that, and it rounded that off. Or I could come over here and, and choose my Convert Anchor Point tool, which is Shift-C on your computer. So you can either choose that, come over here to that tool, 
and as I click, and there are my handles there, and I'm getting them. I don't want them twisted. I want them to be like that. So now that I have my handles, I'm going to switch back to my A selection tool, and that's the A key on the keyboard. So I'll select that, and I'm going to hold my Option key, and I can move one side of these at a time. So my Option key, and I could turn that one. So now I broke that connection. Come here. This one is doing both. See both handles. So if I hold my Option key. I can do that one this way, and I can do this handle going this way, and actually I got too many points here, so I want to take out that point. So I select it, and my negative key, I got the negative point, I can put that on the anchor and delete that point. And so now I have just that one, I'm going to go back to my A key, which is this, and I'm going to select the A key. Let's see if I get that curve going up this way. So I have this going. I'm going to follow this curve. I didn't break the points on these, so they're both going to move. So I'll do Command-Z there, select that. Um, if I do Shift-C, I get my Convert tool, and then I can move one side uh, independent than the other also. So I did Shift-C to get that to move the one side um, without moving the other. Um, so I have that. Uh, I'll go back to my A key. So I'm going to between my A and my V, or whatever, my A selection tool. Come back over here and take a look at what's going on there. Get that going. Um, I could bring this side out. So we're going to shift C. Brings this tool out. And I can kind of bring that around there, get that shape going. Um, so I'm just moving this side. And bring that back out. So you can spend a little time doing the shaping, but um, switching between your A key. Um, this is where the jobs are in doing this vector art. I'm not tracing anything, but to take something and convert it from vector uh, raster art, JPEGs, into vector art, um, so people can scale their work and, and move it around, um, that's where the jobs will be. So I can either hold my option key here. Now I'm going to be careful holding my option key because I could make a copy of my shape. So I don't want to do that. Um, I just want to make sure. So I got this shape going. Um, um, got the shape the way I kind of want it. So if you look at it, I have my direct selection tool there. Also it's set. I could reposition this, I could go to my selection tool, select the whole thing, take it, just move it over a little bit. Now it's all selected. So I have that. Now I could change um, my colors. Let's look at what we got going on with our clownfish and see what they say in here, what they're talking about. Any, any giving us any colors yet? Um, I'm picking a gold color. So I'll just start with a base gold color. I'm not going to go into um, gradients right now. So if I pick, with this being selected, I could come here, pick a color, double click on that, come here to an orange color there, say OK. That did that. I could get rid of my outline, my stroke there, by selecting this here and then selecting none. So now there's no stroke. And I have just the, the fish there. So let's take a look. And then they're saying, let's draw an ellipse to draw that bump out of the eye. So I'll go to my ellipse tool, which is located here. And I take that and um, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be exact again. I can go there. Now I can switch to my uh, V key to move that. So I'm going to switch to the V key. 
that B, so we'll let me do there. So I'll, I'll select it there, but normally I'm just going to hit the V key. That's the quickest way to go. So if I get that, put that somewhere around there, select the fish, hold the shift key to select the eye. So they're both selected, this is selected, and the fish is selected. I'm going to go up to my window and choose Pathfinder under Pathfinder that comes out. I'm going to take that and I'm going to dock that over here. And so this is Pathfinder. Bring that out. And what I'm going to do is merge, unite these two shapes. So it's merging them to, to the two together. And now I have that little bump out. So I have this going on here. So coming down here, I want to draw um, this mouth piece. So it's going to be the the mouth of the fish. So I'll come over here. I'm going to use my uh, command plus button to zoom up. So I'm zooming up. Sh uh, my space bar slide over a little bit so I can see it. So now I want to draw a shape there. So I'll take my pen. Get my pen tool here. Um, I'll, I'll put so I have a black line to draw with. Black there. Oh, command Z. I want to so I have nothing there. I have to deselect here first. So let's come here, deselect. And then I'm going to flip those and make this black. So now it didn't put a, a black stroke there. So now I'm going to go back to my pen tool, hit the P key. So I got the pen tool. And I want to draw um, one here. I'll do a little curve. And then I want to draw curve this part of the mouth. This part here, I kind of went outside there a little bit. Draw this. And then come here. And this is just finishing up my outside shape. You get that little circle there, and that closes off my shape. So now I'm going to switch to the V key to move this. I didn't have that quite where I want it to be. Um, but you see, this is the shape I'm going to get because I'm going to minus that out. Um, and I can work with it. So go to my A key, my direct selection key, select here, and I can take that, push that up a little bit. Uh, what is it? What do they got going? I can take this. Actually, they have this. I have this one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after I drew the shape, got it set, I'm going to select this shape and hold my shift key and select this shape. So I have that one and this shape. So the two shapes are selected. And what I'm going to go to my Pathfinder tool and minus the front. And it cut out that mouth shape there. Okay, so now we're going to add our gradient. Select the fish here, come to my gradient tool here, drop down here. I'm going to do a linear gradient. Um, I'm going to choose, double click on this, and come here to RGB. And I'm going to type in, this is my numbers here, that FFF. So I'm going to do D269. Zero B. And where did that go? I'm gonna select that. D two sixty nine zero B. And that number there matches this number here. So I do return and I got that. And then to a brighter orange of your choice, and they had put in that one. So let's just try that. So again, go to RGB. Come down here and type that in. And we got FE A600. And return. 
and you have that one. So now I have um, the lighter to darker of these, of this. You can kind of see what's going on, and I didn't have that selected. Um, I do. Uh, let's. What I was going on, I was trying to figure out why my gradient wasn't showing, and it's because I was putting the gradient on the stroke. So what I want to do is come down here and put, take this gradient and I'm going to make a swatch of it. So I like that, so I have to remake that. I'm going to go here, make a new gradient swatch. And I want this to be linear, not radial. So I see in that, I want to do type, linear. And then I'll make it my swatch. And come here new gradient swatch. I can go there or I could go up here to my swatches and here and do new swatch color and I'll call it fish body. Say okay there. So that's it there. So what I want to do is take this that off of there, come back to this and I'll pick my swatches and I want it to be that. So now as I come back and look at this, there's my gradient of my fish. Now I could reverse it. Let's see what they got going on here. They have you going from top to bottom. What do they do on theirs? Yeah, they have it going so it's a little darker, a little lighter in the belly of the fish there. So what I have, I want to rotate that 90 degrees this way. So I come to my gradient. And let's see what the angle at 90 looks like. Yeah, nope, negative 90 we want to go. So we have that. And if I want to rotate a little bit there, I use my gradient tool. And I'll come here to the gradient tool. And I can take this, get that rotation right here. And drag that that way. I want to drag it down a little. That looks pretty good compared to what they have. So I like that. Come back to my selection tool. And then I'll be ready to uh, draw an eyeball that has a, um, a gradient to it. So I'm going to use my oval tool. Draw in my eye. I can hold the shift key to get it a perfect circle. And bring that a little bigger than the I there, you know, and it has that gradient there. Um, what do they say? Like, click on the body, achieve dark orange. Uh, you know, go gradient um, with the same angle as the body gradient. Draw smaller lips and put a black li a lips there. So you know what? Yeah, that's okay. So with that selected, so if I go to my selection tool, V key again, I could take this. And go to my brightness and just make this a little brighter. So use saturation, saturate that down a little, bring this here a little. Okay, got that one. Then come to this one. Saturation. Bring the saturation down. The brightness is up as pretty much as it's gonna go. Somewhere around here. So I can go um, about there on it. You know, if that's too bright there, what I can do is come to my gradient tool and watch where I can bring that white so it's a little further out. By using my gradient tool, I'll take this and I'll stretch it out a little bit. Maybe put a little more of an angle this way. And stretch it out. And so now the white is here, so it's not as bright down there where it was. Hit the V key, have that. I can come to my oval tool, draw an eyeball, hold in the shift key, back to my V key, select that, kind of shift it over. And then I can pick my color. Like there, and so I got it kind of taking shape there. I, you know, you can go play with things there and change the colors, but for the video's sake, I'm gonna keep moving. 
So what I'm going to do is a file save as. Um, I'm saving this in my thaw space. I'm working on school computers and Clownfish AI and save that there. So I have that going for me. We want to make sure we save. Come over here and see. Um, and then uh, what are we going to do with this one? We're going to um, And we're going to put a blur on this eyeball here. So we're going to uh, fill it, um, make it a little bit darker, and then we'll put a little blur so we put like a shadow on the eye. So to do that, what we want to do is Command-C or Control-C, but we're going to edit, copy, and then, we co and then we're going to do edit, paste, and back, which is Command-B or Control-B right here. Then we can hold the shift key and make it a little larger. We could shift it up and over a little bit. You know, let's see. We'll hold that shift key. Make it a little larger. Boom, boom there. Now color wise, um, let's pick a color. Um, this darker orange in here. We have somewhere around that color. And so we have that. So now I can see it a little more. I can shift it up, bring it down a little. And then we're going to go into um, effect blur and then we're going to blur it about 6.8 pixels so that's selected that darker area selected we're going to go into effects blur gaussian uh, gaussian blur and um, preview so we can kind of see it and that's 10 and they are saying 6.8 you can type in an exact amount there or you can Use your slider. And it's still, you can still change the size. Move it around. It's still flexible that way. Um, let's put a little more blur in there. Let's just see. Um, in my appearance, I got my blur. I want to click it. So I went to appearance. I'm on, oh. Uh, it's not going to show there, but that if I scroll over that, it's appearance. And then I click my blur so I can affect the blur that's already there. And then I can um, hit the preview so I can see the change. And that's really blowing out. And that's 9.9. .9. I like that. Click off here, just so deselect, and we have that. Okay, so we got our blur, and now we're going to add this to the mouth. So as we come down here, we want to add this shape um, to the mouth. And we see we're going to use a pen tool to trace it. And then we're going to um, put it in, use the Pathfinder Intersect to draw it there. So I'll go to my pen tool. Um, I'll hit Command Plus or Control Plus to zoom up a little bit. Space bar. I'm using my space bar to pan over. Coming to here on my mouth. Um, hit my pen tool again, P for pen. Make sure I got the pen tool selected. And I'm going to draw a point there, point there, uh, and then I got one point here. And then I'll come back and finish that shape up here with that circle so I get that finished shape. Go to my A selection so I can shape that. Take this handle and bring it down. Now remember not to look at the back handle flipped also so they're both removing so you get the one to move at a time. If I select them, shift C, hit the convert tool and now I um, can do one handle at a time. Back to the A tool, 
So as you do this, as you get used to working with these Bezier curves, you will see um, that over there. They got a little bit of a thin that out. You can see how that's thinning it out. Thin that line out. Thin this line. Come here with this. Not too concerned there because I'm not going to have that shape as part of it. So we're looking to do something like that. I can take this color, come back to this selection tool, kind of pick a color, um, double click here. And what do they got there? They pick, they say a color. So what color are they saying? Um, FE8800. So FE8800. Put that in there. Um, return. There it is. So that's kind of the color. So now, with that selected, um, and what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you something if I don't copy the body. This is uh, what we're going to do. So I'm going to take select this and the body. So I have these two are selected. I have that shape. And I'm going to go to my pathfinders. And it says to use the um, intersect. So I want to save what's between this one and the body. And I hit the intersect tool. Um, intersect this one. Click it. And the body's going to go boop. Lost the body. All right. So what happened here? I'm going to do Command Z. Bring back. What I need to do is make a copy of the body before I use that tool. So to copy that, I'll do um, Command C. And then I'll do... Uh, Command um, F to paste it. So I have the new body, and then I'm holding the Shift key, and I'm going to get this new mouth part. So now the body and the mouth are selected. And now I'll come to the intersect tool. And what it did is deleted out one of the body layers that we had made a copy of. Um, so we have our, our mouth shape going on there. I mean, they have this curve here, so we're not looking at it to be exact. So we have that going. It's, it's working well. Um, the fish looks good. So let's come down. So we're going to take a look, and now we're going to draw these um, body stripes. So we're going to use our pen tool to create that shape. And then we're going to use our um, Pathfinder uh, tools to um, subtract and um, draw the intersect between those two shapes. So come back over to here. I'm going to do command negative to zoom out a little bit. Pan over with my space bar. And I want to draw something there. So my pen tool is P. I hit the letter P. I have my pen tool. Um, I could go to my color white just so I have it to start. So I'll go to white. Select that. And so I'll um, draw this first shape here. I'm going to put a little curve. I'm pulling out to get these handles to come out. The Bezier handles, we call those. And then I'll come down here um, to about here. And then I'll curve it. And I can fix this. You saw how I fix this later. So I'll put a curve about there. It's not exact, but I'll do that. And then I'll come over here and it's drawing that shape here. But when I watch what happens when I put this next one in. So I put this one in, and I really don't need a curve in that one, but uh, I can come back and fix that. I got this twist. I'm not worried. I'm going to come up to here, and what I'll do is turn that out this way, and then I'll come back looking to finish it. And there's my little circle right to the lower left of that gray box. You see that little circle? That's telling me I'm closing off this shape. All right. It's not perfect, but I'm going to hit the A key and real quick switch this. Change this, Command C to get my vec um, one handle at a time. So I have that one. Back to my A key, select it so I show that handle here, and now I can pull this out to get that curve there. So you see that curve is going there. I'll come to this one, and I can pull this curve further out. I can come here. So we got a mess. So then what I want to do is pan up. Let's get rid of that. Command C. Bring that in. I don't need all that extra going out that way. Back to the A. So as you do, get good at using these handles, you can be switching between the Command C, the A, 
Um, a is the direct selection tool, this white arrow tool that we're using to do this. And you get that practice, you'll get a feel for it. So, yeah, right? Looks okay. I, you know, you see, I can move these, I can shape it, shape this a little more. Again, when we start tracing something that's done in JPEG art, in raster art, um, pixel art, um, and convert it to this format, you'll see you're good at that, and that's going to be a a skill that people are looking for, people that can do that. All right, so we have this, and now what we want to do is, remember, we're, we're going to intersect, and so we want to save the intersect between these, which it will be this area here. And to do that, we're going to select our body. So I'm going to go to my V key, select the fish. I'm going to do uh, edit, copy, and command B or, or command F, or Control F, we'll put it in front, but I'm going to do Edit, Paste in front, which is Command F. So I'll do that. So I selected that. So now the front body of the fish is copied. Holding the Shift key, I'm going to select this shape. So now this shape and the body shape are selected. Pathfinder tool, Intersect. And there we go. We have that white shape going around the, the body. Now the next step is to draw these other two. So I'll, I'll, I'll draw those instead of watching me draw it. Uh, maybe I'll draw the shapes and then I'll show you how I do the intersect uh, on those um, as we go. So you don't have to watch me draw all this. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, so I drew these two shapes. So I'll hold the shift key and you can see the two shapes I drew. Uh, one other thing I want to point out, I did do these shapes with a minimum amount of points. Um, and I could just kind of fine tune them a little bit, which I could show you there, but I drew them out. It's better to do things with the least amount of points and try to put too many points in. Um, and points mean these anchor points here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, seven for this one and this is only four points and it got this curve and this curve so I could fine-tune that so if I hit that with my um, my a selection tool go to, go to that um, and I want to take this handle and I can draw that out a little bit I can bring this down a little to get that curve I can take this handle get a little more of that curve I could also bring this up a little bit to emphasize that curve I'm not too worried about the shape outside of um, the fish there so I got that curve going um, they get that curve in the tail there so I can maybe bring this up a little bring this out a little bring that, grab that point bring it down emphasizing those that curve there this one it's okay um, you know, they have this this blob out there, so let's see, see if I, oop, I moved the whole shape, so every point was corrected, so I moved the whole shape, Command Z on that, come here, just grab the one point, bring that down, I could, um, Command C, get my Convert Vertex tool, pull that out a little bit more, good enough, I mean, we're not trying to do an exact copy, doesn't matter what's going on there, okay, so now I have these selected, and what I'm going to do with the um, fish, I'm going to do one of these at a time. So I'm going to go to my V selection tool. So I have my black arrow. Come to my fish body. I'm going to do command copy. Command C to copy it. And then I'm going to do command F to paste in front. So I paste it in front. And now I'm going to select this shape. So I select it. And then the body in that is selected. Come to my Pathfinder tool, intersect, and cut it out. So now that's in there. So I need to repeat that. I need to select the body. I'll do it up here so we can see it. Copy, edit, paste in front. So now it's selected. And then I'm going to hold my Shift key to select this. So this and the body are selected, intersect. And now that shape is around 
body there. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is create a thicker outline around there. We use offset. We did use offset when we did the rabbit, the bunny one. So I'll, I'll slide over here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go to uh, object, path, offset path. So that's where we're at there. Select that. Bring this up. I'll select my preview. Um, offset at um, four points. So I have that. So I put that thickness there. And what I'll do is say OK. Now that one's selected, which is the outer shape that I just created. You can come here to black, 000, zero, zero black. I have that. Now I, what I want to do is to um, cut that inside of there. So what I want to do is use the, um, the intersect uh, tool there. So what I have to do is go to the V key, select the body, command copy, command F, paint it in front, shift key, hold this new black I just created. So I have that and then I'm going to do intersect and trimmed it out so we have that so I'll repeat the process with this one object path offset path it remembers where I was you can see it there okay choose my black do the same black that's zero zero black okay so now I have the black um, outline here and so I'm going to deselect Select over here to deselect, select the fish so the body's selected. I'm going to do an edit, uh, copy, and then edit, paste in front, Command F, Control F. Now, with that selected, I'm going to hold my Shift key and select that, and then choose my intersect, and it cut it off, and now I have those stripes there. So, repeat it here. Object, path, offset, uh, offset path, preview, you can see it, OK, choose my color, black, select the fish, I'm going to do this command copy, command F or control F, paste in front, hold the shift key, select that, and then there, and so we have that going on. We have ship so we can zoom out a little bit take a look see what we got going with our fish so far so we got that going now we'll come over here and see what our next steps are or to draw the fins so we want to draw in these fins so I'm going to use my pen tool to draw that fin and then I'm going to put a little tip on the fin to create that uh, tip pen tool letter P choose that what it does is pick my pen tool here have that so I want to draw that shape so I'll draw here I'll draw one there kind of going right here I'm not worried about the color right now I will get that color fixed uh, maybe I'll put one here and another one there And finish it off there with that little circle to the lower left of that gray box. And I fix that shape up. So now, with that, I'm going to select my V key. So I have my black arrow tool. Come to this. I'm going to come up to my swatches up here. And I'm going to roll over here. And I have fish body color right there. Click that. And there I have my fish body color. I can reverse... Um, the gradient so the gradient is a little darker here and lighter so I go to my gradient tool and just take this rotate it around you know that seems kind of strange but then I'll just take this um, all right grab it on this side take that drag it over here and I can even rotate it a little bit more so I get the rotation all right, we're not going to get crazy with this. So that looks good. Um, then I can do, do a little more shaping. So to shape it, I want to go to my A, A key, which is this one, A, direct selection tool. 
and I got this little divot in here so I want to keep these lines moving nicer so I'll, I'll take this pull that out a little bit take this pull this a little bit yeah it looks okay I can even take this one drag it out a little command C gives me the vertex tool and come here see how these follow that line I want to kind of keep that smoothness and that's how you can look at when you're using your handles what kind of smoothness you have going there that's a little thickness there so I could go back to the A tool select here here it's in there that's good for my fish fin so what they have us do is just draw a curve that kind of follows that to the outside so we have that one so now I'm going to go back to my pen tool P pen tool back to that I'll pick my color right away I'll go black so we have something like this kind of cur oh, click the curve and then I'll curve that one out that way bring this one down here curve it out that way I can again you remember I see me changing these things so go there with it come out to the outside here come out to the outside there I'm gonna go out past that and I'm gonna finish off that shape see that circle there finishes off the shape so again a key I could take this curve here and draw you know what if I switch these and I can kind of see how it's looking against that so I, I can see what's going on so what I did is hit this switch button there and now I can see through it and kind of get an idea how much curve I want to put in this and I want to move just to one side so what I'll do is shift C curve in there then I'll go back to my A and by doing that I kind of do give it a little bit of a bump in there so I want to make sure that has a nice smooth curve there yeah it looks okay alright so now switching back got that black um, didn't didn't switch because I didn't have it selected I had deselected it so I need to select it and then I'll switch it back now it's switched back so same thing here command C command F that's selected so I made it a copy and pasted it in front hold the shift key select that intersect tool so we get pretty good at this and there it is so we have that fin there the place on the fish there so what I want to do is grab them both so they both got those and I can bring those up here you know once you have it then you can always scale it rotate it if I need to make it a little bigger this way or that smaller and it's working because I had them both selected so I want to make sure I'm not just moving the one like that so command Z on that you want to make sure you get them both together as you do that so what I'll do is draw the other fins and then we'll come back and see what's next with this okay I'm back um, you see when I left I drew these three new fins um, so what I'm going to do is place them on the fish and show you how what we need to do. So this one, I'm going to select it. And I'm also going to select the black area here. So I select them both. Both areas are selected. So the black and the fin. So I know I have them both selected. I'm going to do a command copy, a command F, paste them front. So I should have copied it both. And then what I'm going to do is to reflect that, to so flip it upside down to create this fin. So I'll do Object, Transform, Reflect, put my Preview on, and I have it select there, and then my Horizontal. So now I have it there, and I can do an angle on there. A little less. I could play with this angle a little more once I get in there, but eh, go there. And so I could say OK there. So I have this, and now I want to have this fit in there. So what I'll do is shrink it up, 
and I don't have to worry about it. I don't want it to be the exact same as the one above it, but it's a good starting point. So sometimes you can get away with doing that where you're not um, drawing something totally new. Um, bring that there. Uh, it's a little awkward there, so let me if I stretch this out. Let me push this in. Yeah, I could probably reflect that back the other direction. So what I'll try to do is do object, transform, reflect. It's still quicker than drawing it, right? This is still quicker than drawing it. So I'm going to put the angle back to zero where it was. Um, preview is there. Where's the angle? Um, command Z on that. Alright, where are you going? Keep her coming. There we go. Yeah, about like that. I'll do the... There we go. That looks like that should work. It's okay there. Bring it to there. I could do... A, oh, I might, now i got to make sure I select them both again. So I'm going to come here, select two of them. this way and this is already behind that one there so let's take that go a little more there now what's looking a little weird is that the gradient is a little bit off right but uh, okay so I got that now I'm going to come to my gradient G for the gradient tool which is here see a letter G there and what I want to do is reverse that gradient come out here with it and bring it back a little trying to match this a little bit more yeah it's a little still a little darker there so I can probably bring that down you can push that up there more I mean, it doesn't have to be exact. You know, you can see that this doesn't line up exact. That's not exact, but it, it's looking pretty good. Um, again, you know, I might spend a lot more time on doing this than I'm doing in the video. I grabbed just the bottom gradient. I needed to grab the two pieces together. And I got to make sure I grab them both arrow keys I can push it over a little there you go a little bit of fin there now this fin here I'm gonna select make sure I select the two of those so I bring it down to match the body it's on top of the body so what I want to do is right click with that arrange send to back and what that did is put it behind the fish there so now I'll just use my arrow keys to kind of do it I can have it down a little, move it over, I have something like that going on. That look, doesn't look too bad. And now I want to create these two fins, where they have these two fins right here. So I have this fin, actually, um, I have this one here. And what I want to do is put it in um, behind, they have this behind. Um, both of there. So what I do, I grab the wrong one. Make sure you grab them both because I'm not I didn't have them grouped together. So with this, I'm going to um, take it, bring it over here. I'm going to right click, send to back, arrange, send, send to back. So then I got it tucked in there. I can make it a little smaller. Curve it so you, you could see you could do I missed them um, things that without having to redraw everything. So I have that one there. Arrow keys, push it up a little, push it over because I'm gonna do it now. With those both selected, I'll do Command Copy, and this time I'm gonna edit, paste them back. So edit, paste them back, and then I'll arrow key that copied one over, push it up. 
rotate it. That rotation arrows there, rotate it a little bit. You know, you don't want those two black lines lining up with each other. Yeah. Not exactly like the one, but let's see if I pull it in that one. Yeah, I only grab the one piece. So I gotta make sure when I do something like this, I grab them both. On behind it, so I grab just those two. Still quicker than redoing it. You know, if I was following something exact and I want to make sure it's exact, so then I would maybe redraw it. Um, with this, let's see what I can do with that path. So I have those two selected there. Zoom up on it. Boom, boom. Get a little bit of that thicker edge that they're showing there. So I'm going to my A key. Check out that. I'm going to do Command C to make sure I just grab this side so I'm not going to affect the outer edge of this shape. And I'm going to make it go back to my A key. I can cheat that one down a little. And I can do the same thing with this Command C. Get my Command. Just letter A. So it made it a little thicker to match what's going on there. So Command negative, go out, V key, select. And that's what we got going on. So what do we have going on with the fish? So we have all our fins going on. Now we have to do the one for the tail. Um, so do something like that around the tail. So again, repeat the process. Might as well. You're here. We go pen tool. Um, we got black selected. Go here, curve it. So you, if I didn't curve it, I wouldn't get these handles right away. So I'm pulling outwards as I do that first pen tool. Then I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna pull outwards this way. I'm pulling it come outside of the fin. I, this I'm not too concerned about with the shape because that's all going to get lost. Same with this here. I'm just going out there and then I'm going to come and connect it right there. Finish it off. So now I have this kind of curve. Again, I can click here so I can see how that's looking. I can go to my A tool. I get a little twist in there. I'm going to fix that twist. Now again, Command C brings my vertex tool. I can change this. It doesn't have to be exact there. I kind of like it with a little thicker there. Back to this. Now if remember, V, we're going to take our fish body, Command C, Command F, Control F. So I made a copy, hold the Shift key, select that, Pathfinder, Intersect. And then I have that shape there. So I have that going on. Click it out. File save, Command S. And do the save there. So I have that going on, my fish, kind of looking there. I'm gonna look over here, and then we're gonna draw in this, this background and put a blur on it and draw the sea an enemy and uh, put that in there. So you're gonna end up with that. And then what they do is after you draw it, we blur out things that are further away blurred a little more these ones a little more so what's closer to the fish we keep it in focus they won't be blurred but the ones that come closer to us will be blurred and get that depth of field blur thing going on so read through that these steps where are we leaving off at step um, number um, 20 you know where we go to 20 so I'll, we'll do this blur here so I'll show us a blob brush tool and how to do that. So what I want to do is create a new layer under my fish. I don't want to do this on top of the fish layer. So again, we talked about layers and we want to keep things separate. Um, the fish has all been on one layer. So I'm going to do a command negative, pull out a little bit. Come to my layers, which are here. New layer, create new layer. And I'm going to put that underneath took it and dragged it, put it underneath, double click, and I'm gonna call it on um, the water. So 
So we have that. So that layer being selected, I come to my blob brush tool, which is this tool here. And we want to pick a color. Double click on that. And what are some of the colors they ask? You can kind of pick um, ask some blues. So we have a darker blue, a medium blue, and a light blue. So let's kind of look and see what we have as far as those blues. More in here in the shades. So if I go there with my darker blue, I'm just visual and doing it up. Um, got that blue green stuff going. Yeah, that's good. So what what they did? Let's go up one. Is kind of blah, blah blah brush. So let's take a look at our blob brush, which is this tool here. And um, I'm going to lock my fish. So here's my fish layer. I'm going to come here, and you don't see the lock, but when you click here, toggles lock. So this way, I'm not going to accidentally draw over my fish. This layer is selected, so we're going to be drawing the water. Um, how big I want my blob brush to be, I can change the size by hitting the bracket keys to the right of the letter P. So go to the outside bracket, which is two keys over. I'm making this bigger. So you see the brush getting bigger. I can go here, and then I can take this brush and get a little bit of lag in the computer. And it's behind. And then I can take it over here. Blob brush is cool because you can add to this shape. You've added to it. Um, maybe a little more here. What the heck? We are going to cover up with enemy um, there, but um, so I got that. Now I want to get this color. So what I'll do with this um, my blob brush color is there. I'm going to come here to my swatches, add it. And um, let's do switch it over to here, and then go to my swatches, new swatch, and I'm going to call this water dark. Say okay, and then I'll go to that swatch, double click it, um, color mode. HSB, my um, hue, saturation, brightness. And what I want to do is maybe a little less saturation and a little more brightness. So to try to get that middle color going on, this color here. So I got that. And we do this kind of blue blob that in there, filling in some of these shapes. I can make my brush bigger by hitting those bracket keys. So it is covering over the um, Take that off. It is covering off the background of it, but it's not covering the um, the foreground fish color. But it, it will fill in. See, I go there. Maybe a little bit over here. All right. So I have that color. So what I could do with that is just switch it. Make it. Um, I'm switching it so it's the fill color. When it's a fill color, I can come here. New swatch color, and I'm going to call that water mid. So I got that okay there. Um, but there, I could double click it again and um, make it lighter. So I'm kind of going to match that color, maybe again a little less saturated. Say OK. 
Okay. I can call that that picked, and then I can call it water light. So I have that. Say okay. And so now I have my three new swatches there. Oh, I changed the one swatch. Let's do Command Z on that. Make a new one. So um, save over it. New. There we go. Well, we got it. We'll have to come back in the other side. If I did it in the other window and then saved a swatch, it would be the way to do it. So what I'm doing is kind of fill up where there's white showing through here. There. Just make the brush maybe a little smaller. Hit that bracket. I'm going smaller. So we're, we're about finished. I'll let you do the... Um, steps to draw the sea anemone, that seaweed type stuff that's in the foreground and the background of the fish. I'll just get this going and I'm going to show us one other thing when it's all done. You follow the steps to do that, but I think um, we got a good start here. So with that all selected, what I want to do is go to my selection tool. Select all of this. And the fish isn't selected because the fish layer is locked, right? Fish layer is locked, so just the water is selected there. So we're going to go to our um, put a Gaussian blur of 37 pixels on that. So with this, come back to our image. Take down a little, select it again. Make sure it's all selected. Now that we're going to go to Effect, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Preview it, and they were saying about 37, so we'll bump it up and see what it does. Right. Yeah, subtle differences going on here, but it would say okay. Deselect. Then we have our fish sitting out there, um, and then we're going to draw the um, step number 20. So, um, Go through step 20 to the finish. Um, just notice as you go through it, when we get to the end, what we have is kind of, these ones are a little more crisp, so you're going to pick some of these ones in the background after you layer them back there, and you're going to blur those, so you're going to select just those ones further back, put a little more blur on them. These mid-range ones, you'll put a slight blur on them. And then as you come to these ones, the ones that are a little closer to the fish, a slight blur, and the ones that are closer to us, They'll have more blur. So that gives us depth of field that we have this going on here. So the other thing I want to show you is to make a clipping mask so we can, when we go to export this, that we don't pick up all this extra stuff outside of our artboard. So I'm going to come to my rectangle tool and I want to come to this corner and I'm going to draw down with that and do that white box, but then what I'm going to do is to make them both a negative, no color in it. Come to this one, no color, so there's no color in either of these. It's still selected, I see it's green there, so I'm going to object, compound path, make. What that does is cut the, the center out there. So now with that compound path made, I'm going to go to my selection tool and I'm going to select everything together. Um, where I probably have a problem, let's, I should have made a new layer. Let's see if this is going to work. Um, and clippy mask make, but I think I needed to make a new layer. So let's see. Uh, it worked. kind of like to do it on a new layer before I do something like that. So I put the, the clippy mask on there. And it did put it on that there. I like to draw it up as a new layer, but there it is. Everything's tucked in there. So now if we look at this, um, I must, that background was locked. See, the background was locked, so it didn't um, do that. So I'll do a Command Z on this. All right, so now I'll unlock the 
background and try to grab everything again. Pulling down, get everything in there. So now we have everything and then we'll do object clipping mask mate. Deselect. You know, we have everything contained within there. All right, well, thanks for watching. Finish up doing the anemone, create that. This is not your final assignment. This is just a practice again, using our activities of learning plan three. Um, what you want to do is draw up uh, a fish or copy. A good idea to do with this assessment would be to um, do it from a photograph. Look at some of the ones that were done in the... Um, Doc sharing from LP3, you can see that one fish that looks really cool, was using a photograph as reference, and she turned it from a JPEG photograph into vector art. Again, that's where you're going to have uh, a lot of opportunities to get work if you get proficient at doing that, turning raster art into vector art, where they can scale it up and down and put it wherever they want. Is um, It's going to be a good skill to have. All right, any questions, let me know.